My name is Nina Park. I am a New York based Chanel makeup artist, and today I want to show you guys some fun lip looks that are really easy to do using my new favorite Chanel products. I'm gonna go in with these Chanel Le Rouge duos here. This one is in Milky Blueberry. I really love these products because they're so versatile in the way that you can use them. I mean, you can really go in, sheer it out with the color. Um, you can do several coats of it to get high impact color. You also have the gloss that's on the other end that you can really give a nice lacquer finish to it. Um, so this is a great staple in my kit. How I like to use this actually is to mix the color with the gloss before actually applying it to the lips. I feel like this gives you a really soft sort of wash and it's really buildable. And yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous look. I have my little metal palette here. Just put on some of the color down in this little well. Take the other side of the clear and kind of place it right next to it. So they're right here together. I'm gonna go in with my finger and really just kind of mix the two, really diffusing some of the color down. And you can see it's like a gorgeous sort of washed out pigment. I'm just gonna press in with my finger and kind of giving it more like a feathered out effect. I like this technique because it's a stained effect, but it's not drying. It's got the moisture in there because we mix the gloss with it. So it's really hydrating, sort of staying to lips. And this product especially, it stays on your lips. This is a very waterproof product. So mixing it with the gloss too, it's not gonna diffuse the lasting power of it. I like using my fingers and kind of making it a little bit blurrier on the ends. I like this diffuse sort of look. I'm not looking for a very sharp, crisp, lip look right now. Right now I want this like really soft diffuse stain. So using my finger and kind of even like a little bit outside of your lip line and just blending it out a little bit. Almost like a like a rose petal. So next I'm gonna go in with the Chanel Le Crane Leve in Rouge Noir. This one is stunning on. It's obviously very pigmented. I like using my fingers and kind of making it a little bit blurrier on the ends. I like this diffuse sort of look. I'm not looking for a very sharp, crisp lip look right now. Right now I want this like really soft, diffuse stain. And I'm really just kind of focusing more on the center to give that ombre effect. So the color is gonna be more intense and deeper in the center and then it just kind of fades out into this berry tone. kind of just gives you this bitten center effect. Your finger is a great tool for lip looks because you can really get in there and mold and melt the colors together. The beauty of this is you can intensify the center as much as you want. Right now, I could probably go in a little bit more to really give that contrasting effect, but I kind of like the way it looks right now. But if you wanted to really deepen the inside, you can really just drag this pencil in, in the inner part of your mouth and have a nice bitten sort of stained lip. The next lip we're gonna do is a take on red. I'm going to take the Rouge Coco Flash. This one is in a more, and it's just beautiful, bright red color almost has like a hint of magenta to it, but you can see it's got such a nice, beautiful shine to it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Cran Lev Longwear Lip Pencil in Rouge Tendre. It's this gorgeous reddish orange tone, I'd say, and I think together it's gonna to be a beautiful one. For this lip look, I'm actually gonna go straight in with the tube and really get the saturation of pigment on my lips. This feels like butter on your lips and is so silky and lustrous, I'm obsessed. Once I have a shape down, I'm just gonna keep pressing my lips down just to cover any um, areas that I haven't got the lipstick. Just kind of spread the color out a little bit. I'm gonna go in with round two. 
And this time I'm just going to go in and pat a little bit where I want a little bit more intensity of the red. Okay. What I'm doing now is getting a little Kleenex and, and just kind of softening out just the outer edges of my lip line. And I'm doing that because I'm going to go in with the lip liner and I don't want it to have too much of a slip. I need something to hold it down. The Rouge Tendre. And this one I'm using like a traditional lip pencil. I really want to define and have a, have a crisp line, but also I want it to kind of blend and melt the color together. It's funny, the... The orange red of the lip liner mixed with that red magenta lipstick creates like a really beautiful complex color and I love it. I mean, you don't have to be so intense with it if you want it just a little bit more of a wash. I really like this. I think this is a great look. I think what I'm going to do is maybe finish it off with a little bit more of an extended or a thicker eyeliner and I think that would really go well together. This is a wing liner paired with this red lip, and I think this could be a fun evening look. Really just give a nice balance. Yeah.